This is a demonstration of how to connect the three single coil pickups in a Stratocaster guitar, to access all of its 47 different possible tones. Guitar tone as used here, as understood and used loosely by the general community of guitarists, is commonly known to mean as the timbre, or the tone color or character of the sound or voice of the instrument. The potential tones of the guitar have always been there, and only how to access them is what has eluded many guitarists. The sound of an electric guitar is produced by its pickups, which are located at fixed points along the length of the strings of the guitar. As the strings vibrate within the magnetic field permeating through the metal core in the coil of the pickup, an alternating electric current is generated by the coil, and its phase polarity changes in relation to the changes in the magnetic field in its coil. The pickup detects magnetic field changes over a range of area where the strings vibrate, and this is largely determined by how the magnetic field propagates over the strings and the coil. Different types of magnets, coil windings, pickup metal cores, which are the pole pieces or flat bars or rails, produce different tonal characteristics. The overall character of the sound produced by the pickups depends on many factors, but the most definitive of these are, 1, the design and construction of the pickups, 2, the position of the pickups in the guitar, and, 3, the way the pickups are connected. We will deal only with how the pickups are connected to generate different guitar tones, although this alone cannot be made as an isolated cause in the changes in tone. The three pickups can be connected in series or parallel, in phase, or reverse phase, or a combination of these connections. When two or more pickups are connected together, their waveforms sum up and cancel out in varying degrees, because the pickups are detecting string vibrations at different points, or at different phases of the oscillation of the strings. Each unique combination of connections will produce a unique electrical waveform, but not all of them will produce discernible tone differences. Some combinations of connections will actually produce the same tonal characteristics, even though they are electrically different. For example, in the diagram on top, the neck pickup is connected in parallel to the bridge pickup, while both are oriented in phase relative to the circuit ground. In the other diagram at the bottom, the same pickups are still connected in parallel, but this time, both are oriented in reverse phase relative to the circuit ground. Although connected differently, the tone output of both connections will sound the same. The only difference is that the signals from each connection is the reverse phase of the other. They may be said to be mirror images of each other. When we redraw the circuit diagrams, it becomes obvious why both connections will produce the same tones. The pickups are actually connected in exactly the same manner, but only the output signal and the ground are interchanged. Here is another example, this time of different compound connections that will produce tones that are the reverse phase of each other, but are actually identical tones. Again, when we redraw the diagrams, the reason why the tones are identical becomes obvious for the same reasons. This is the connection duality of guitar tones, and it is consistent throughout all kinds of connections. There is also a commutative identity in both series and parallel connections, where differences in the order or sequence of connections of the pickups, will not result in any difference in the resulting tones. In addition, in so far as human perception of tone is concerned, the phase polarity of a pickup is defined by its orientation with respect to the other pickup or pickups it is connected to. Phase orientation relative to the circuit ground is irrelevant. Taking all these into consideration, when we draw the circuit diagrams of all the unique tones that can be generated by the three pickups in a Stratocaster guitar, we come up with only 47, which is a small number compared to all the permutations of its connections. These are key factors in simplifying the design of a switch system that can access all tones of the Stratocaster guitar. It must be pointed out however, that distinctions between some of the different tones may not be recognizable to everybody. Sometimes, the difference between the tones will be apparent only when the output is passed through an audio effects processor. These fine distinctions between the different tones, will give the meticulous guitarist a gradient of palette of tones. The 47 tones of a Stratocaster. To simplify references to these connections, 
a naming system will be used to show what pickups are being used, and how they are connected, which will follow these conventions. N, neck pickup. M, middle pickup. B, bridge pickup. R, prefix for reverse phase connection. Vertical line between pickups, pickups connected in parallel. Horizontal line between pickups, pickups connected in series. Parenthesis, group connection of pickups in a compound combination of connections. Single pickup, three tones. Parallel in phase, four tones. The single pickup and parallel in phase tones, comprise the seven most common pickup connections. Early pickup selector switches for the Stratocaster guitar, had only three positions, which connects the three pickups one at a time only. By positioning the selector shaft of the switch in between the notches, two additional tones were made available. This led to the transformation of the three-position pickup selector switch, to the now standard five-position pickup selector switch. The other two are made with the addition of another switch, either as an independent switch, or as part of a potentiometer push-pull shaft switch. In some off-the-shelf Stratocaster-style guitars, this extra feature is already built in. Parallel, one out of phase, six tones. These tones are produced with a noise-canceling humbucker effect. Two of these are already integrated in the five-position pickup selector switch, in its second and fourth positions, connecting the middle pickup to either the neck or bridge pickup, by making the middle pickup reverse wound. To create a true humbucking effect, the polarity of the magnetic field of the middle pickup is also reversed. The middle pickup is thus known as reverse wound, reverse polarity, or RWRP. However, when the phase orientation of the RWRP middle pickup is reversed, or any of the neck or bridge pickup is reversed, the noise-canceling humbucking effect is negated. Also, when all three pickups are connected, only a partial noise-canceling effect is produced. Series in phase, four tones. Series, one out of phase, six tones. These tones also produce humbucking phase-canceling tones, similar to the regular double-coil humbuckers, but with the peculiarity of the Stratocaster twang, because of the spacing of the pickups and the differences in the coil windings of each of the pickups, with the bridge pickup usually having more windings and the neck pickup having the least. Series connections will generally produce louder sounds than parallel connections. But the major distinction of series connections is that, each coil acts as an inductive low-pass filter to the other, which causes the overall tone of the pickups to lose some of their high frequencies. This does not mean that series connections do not sound good. In contrast to parallel connections, where each coil acts as an inductive high-pass filter to the other, the resulting tone is rich in high-frequency harmonics, for which the second and fourth position of the pickup selector switch is well known for. Thus, series out-of-phase connections sound more like regular humbuckers than parallel out-of-phase connections. Compound connections involving three pickups. Two pickups in series while in parallel with one pickup, all in phase, three tones. Two pickups in series while in parallel with one pickup, at least one out of phase, nine tones. Two pickups in parallel while in series with one pickup, all in phase, three tones. Two pickups in parallel while in series with one pickup, at least one out of phase, nine tones. Tones produced by compound connections are the least explored of the Stratocaster tones, even though they comprise half of the tones of the Stratocaster guitar. In fact, very few guitarists have heard how these tones sound like. Phase cancellation and amplification, as well as the mutual filtering effects of the pickups in compound connections, become more complex and there is no easy way to analyze or describe them. Because of their unusual configuration and the difficulty in making them, they are often simply dismissed as bad tones. That is the unfortunate logic of blissful ignorance. The fact is however, these can be very aesthetically useful tones. If the sound of a jackhammer can be artistically used in a song, there is no reason why compound connections in a Stratocaster guitar can also be used. The challenge is how to make them more accessible.
Tones in compound connections are generally made possible with an all-combination switch system design. They are either active digitally controlled switch systems, or passive mechanical switch systems. Active systems introduce a certain amount of resistance in the circuit, and will attenuate the output, but they appear to be easy to use because they are also programmable. Electromechanical relays may be used in active systems to overcome the inherent resistance of digital switches, but their physical size and power requirements render them impractical for actual use. On the other hand, passive mechanical systems do not have the limitations of active switch systems, but they are less intuitive to use. Passive systems are also a lot less expensive. But whichever system is used, there is still only 47 different tones that can be produced by the three single coil pickups of a Stratocaster guitar. All other tones from all the permutations of its connections are merely duplicates or redundant tones. The arsenal of pickup tones of the Stratocaster guitar is for the adventurous and creative. 47 is merely a bass figure, and the number of tones dramatically increases when a single coil pickup is replaced by a humbucker pickup, that has four wires to access its coils independently, bearing in mind that a humbucker pickup can produce six unique tones. What is the significance of all these tones to your guitar playing? What are the chances that best tone or tones for your playing style is not among the five tones available from the pickup selector switch of your guitar? The only way to answer this question is to know all the tones of your guitar. Hopefully, this video has piqued your curiosity to explore the tones of your guitar. In the final analysis, there are no good tones or bad tones. It all depends on the preferences and requirements of each individual. It's not what you have in the guitar that matters, it's how well you can make use of what you have, that makes a difference. But the more options you have, the greater the potential for versatility. The important thing is that you enjoy playing your guitar. Have fun. Be creative. Thank you for watching.